pods all soil, okay? So if we were to look at a pods all soil, okay? You'd be looking at a gray colored soil, okay? Hence I have, I've got a gray shoe here to represent the color. It's gray in color, it's not nice. If you look at a pods all soil, you would say that's not a healthy looking soil. That is not good for growing stuff in, okay? If your face went gray, someone would say you're sick. The soil, pods all is kind of the same, okay? So soil is gray, it is not good for growing stuff, okay? So, pods of soils were formed in areas once covered by coniferous forest, okay? So, our brown soils were areas once covered by deciduous forest, a pod soil was once covered by coniferous, okay? Um, these areas tend to be cold, wet, and upla uh, upland kind of areas, okay? So, mainly in the west and southwest, but there can be, like, for example, Wexford here in Leinster. There are some found in the east, but then you've got the south and west, so Cork in the south, Galway in the west, where they have more rainfall, they have more upland areas, and it's generally colder, okay? So as a result, pods all soils will form. Um, so if you look at the pods all soil formation process, okay, there is a limited amount of plant litter. So there is not a lot of plant litter to feed the soil. Hence, if we go over here, we have a, a tiny speck of a leaf and a tiny bit of dead grass. Uh, which is not really providing enough plant litter or enough food for the soil, okay? There is lots of rainfall, okay? And remember, folks, rainfall leads to this thing here, leaching. Leaching is literally when nutrients, all the good stuff soil needs, is washed out or washed away, okay? Um, leaching also forms what's called a hard pan, okay? And a hard pan is literally a hard layer of soil that is impermeable. And the word impermeable means water cannot pass through it. Okay, that might be a new word for a lot of us. Um, you'll probably you'll come across it in science as well. Impermeable, water cannot pass through it. And again, this is as a result of lots and lots of leaching where water nutrients are washing out of the soil. It'll form a hard pan, which is bad because this hard pan is impermeable, meaning that nutrients and water that, that, um, cannot pass through it, meaning the plants cannot get food. Okay, um, so if you look back fi to our final uh, point on pods all, okay, so they're infertile and slightly acidic. They're not good for like growing lots of grass and lots of wheat and barley, for example. They're mainly used for forestry. So if you were a farmer in, say, Cork or Galway and you had a, a field of pods all soils, you'd probably use it for forestry, or, which means you basically plant trees on it, okay? Um, now, they can be used for grazing sheep and goats because sheep and goats don't really eat a lot of grass and sheep and goats can kind of live in upland areas. So if we go over here to our picture, here we have some sheep. They could possibly be grazing on an area of pods or soils, okay?